Uh, ok, I want to just record the Kaiser Redux as always. But now we have not Vikings. Right now we have WWP10 and we have the French Brothers on the load screen. But anyway, today we are going to play as the country that is under the Western sanctions. And yeah, is the Persia or Iran or oh, Iran today. We are going to restore the Great Persia starting from Syria, going to the India and to the Turkestan. Oh, and also to the Arabian Peninsula. We are going to create a great country with great amount of factories and a great amount of people that will threaten the whole world. And especially threaten to the United States of America and the Entente Alliance, cause we don't like the West. I don't know, is YouTube blocked in the Iran or not? But if you watch me from Iran, hello my brother from Iran. I'm glad to see you on my channel. Watch this video to the end to support your country. And now let's get rid of the sanctions and enjoy! <laughs> I don't know why, but all of them like to plagiate the Austrian painter from Vienna. His mustache is just wonderful. Introduction to Persia. I'm too lazy to read it, so I'll say only four words. Persia will be strong. And as you can see, French national state was updated. Logically. And we have some new debuffs. And the new focus tree line. Is the triumph the marshal? Sorry for my French, I don't know French. But anyway, holy shit, it's a great focus tree line. We should play one day as the French national state, I guarantee you that. If anyone will play French national state, let me know in the comments what was updated, uh, new interesting passes and things like that. I'll appreciate this information a lot. And when I said about the weak economy, I wasn't joking, cause we have only 3 military factories and 8 civilian factories, but we can use only 3 civilian factories for those great country. And yeah, collapse of the Russian Empire and the collapse of the British Empire was pretty good for us. And what about our focus tree line? It's not so big, but it's interesting. And also right there we got the cool expansion right into the Afghanistan, Turkestan, Dominion of Delhi, Azerbaijan, Armenia, Georgia, and even Arabian Peninsula. Wait a minute, where is my brother Jugashvili? Evgeny Gigach Kori, what did you do with my brother Jugashvili? And you are just the German puppet, that's all that I can say. Nope, Shah Mirza will stay in the Persia. And we are going to have the authoritarian democratic rule. And there will be no public elections. Public elections? Never heard about it. And the constitutional monarchy remain. Long live the Shah. Oh, and I forgot about one interesting and important moment. Our population. Now our population is... 13.9 million people living in the whole Persia. We can compare it with the population of the whole Canada. And that's pretty good for the small Persia and the great Canada. The second largest country in the world, don't forget about it. But our goal is like 30 million people living in the Persia or even more, 50 million people. Let's do 50 million people in the great Persia. Wait, what? Persia plus Bohemia supports the special military operation in Ukraine? Or what? I can't explain it in the other side. It's the support of the special military operation in the Ukraine. We got the good news. The Egypt has started the war against the Ottoman Empire and it has started this war with pretty good positions with uh, Sinai Peninsula. 
What about me? When will I join this war? I don't know. Oh, okay, I can join it. Now let's start conquering the Sublime Ottoman Federation. But before that, let's take this focus and we will get a lot of claims in the Iraq. And there is no forces right up here, so we can easily capture Baghdad, Kirkuk and other parts of Iraq and also the Western Kurdistan. Ottoman Empire is almost destroyed in the Middle East, as you can see. Their forces are almost encircled in the Syria. Okay, so Ottomans accepted the peace and they have surrendered. Uh, I'm just okay with that. I agree to their proposition. And now we have to destroy the Azerbaijani forces and the Azerbaijan as its own. Oh, and that's the partition of the Jebel Shamar. So I took these lands to have the Persian Gulf control. And damn, now it looks pretty cool. Nope, no liberation of Iraq. Plus one encirclement in the Azerbaijan. Hello Baku, now we will own you, not Azerbaijan. Just as I said, and now the whole Azerbaijan will be ours. We had before the Western and the Eastern Azerbaijan, now we're going to have the Northern Azerbaijan. We are going to unify the whole Azerbaijani people. And what about our population? Our population has raised to the 22.6 million people living in the Great Persia. But it's not the greatest Persia. In the greatest Persia we are going to have 50 plus million people living. And in the near future we are going to capture Armenia, but we need more world tension to do it. Anyway, Second World Crack will start in a few weeks and we will get 100% of the world tension and after that we will conquer Armenia. Oh, we can integrate Azerbaijan, let's do it. Cause now it's only the occupied territories. As I said, Second World Crack will start in a few weeks. Document France declared war on the German Empire. So we wish luck to the French Communards cause Georgian Kingdom is a puppet of the Deutsches Daddy and Deutsches Daddy must be destroyed so we can capture the Georgian Kingdom. And now we got a lot of civil factories so we can build a lot of military factories and have a lot of weapon. In 1940 Armenia is gonna be destroyed. But before conquering Armenia, let's go and conquer the Dominion of Delhi and the Dominion of the Afghanistan. Right after this focus, we will take the focus of the Afghan question. Oh shit, uh, they now got the pretty strong alliance cause they have the Central African Empire. Strong state in the strong alliance. And in the future we are going to have war with this alliance. Let's go into the trip to the Afghanistan. The nation of Afghanistan was once a part of the Iranian Empire, yet the British grant them independence forcing us to release them. It's time for us to take back what is rightfully ours. The Hazara and Pashtuns are as much as Iranians as the Persians and must be brought back in the fold. We agree with that. Afghanistan, Afghanistan, my lovely one, Afghanistan, 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 my lovely one, Afghanistan. Let's conquer it. And also let's take some parts of the Pakistan. Pakistan, Pakistan, my lovely one, Pakistan. And yeah, we are pushing forward into the Dominion of Delhi and into the Dominion of Afghanistan. Not so quickly, but that's okay, we are pushing. We have green buttons and that's good. Now we can easily play with the worm tactic, cause you can see we have pushed far away and now our worms can deal pretty good. By May 1940 our front line looks like this, we have almost captured Belujistan, we have captured Dalbandin and uh, parts of the Afghanistan. My goal is to reach this river and stand by this river to the end of the war. And also I would like to capture those territories. June 1940, the situation for the Dominion of Delhi and the Afghanistan is catastrophic cause we are pushing further and further into the their territories. 
Good news, in the August we have blocked the corridor to the Kabul, so now they have no access to the Kabul and the whole Afghanistan. Afghan forces are going to die in the Dominion. And our forces in the Afghanistan now are moving to the encircle those forces and are moving to the capture Kabul. And look how much forces are going to die right here. Hmm, I think that it's a good proposition cause if we fight on we will get minus 30% of stability, but if we get a peace, all will be okay. So let's go in the peace and we will correct our peace with them if there is will be not good peace for us, because you can see that we have a pretty good positions. Let's go. Um, I would correct it, it's not fair. Now we can deal with it, because we have occupied it a pretty good part of India, but we will get back this part of India to them. But Afghanistan is going to be ours, because we have almost captured it. And we gave them back their territories. Now I think that it's a pretty good for them, because they don't give a fuck about Afghanistan. They give a fuck about the dominion of Delhi. Now we need to wait for months to declare war on Armenia. And now we are integrating Herat in the, our country. Good thing is that we are integrating not the Her, cause Her in the Russian is dick. And sorry my brothers I forgot to say about our population. Now our population is 30.5 million people living in this great Persia. But that's not enough for us. I would like to conquer the whole Syria and also some parts of Turkey into the, our country and probably Hashimit Arabia. But I'm not sure about the Hashimit Arabia. I'm too lazy to wait, cause it's even more than 30 days to wait, so let's attack them. <laughs> you won't get Armenia for free. Now we will go and conquer Turkey, cause we need some of their territories and also we need Bosphor and Dardanelles. And our main goal is to eat Turkish sweets, that's all. Do I need to give any comments about this war? I don't think so. But Tehran against Alexandria? It would be a great war. It would decide the future not only of the Arab world, but even of the Muslim world, cause we are going to control Mecca. And Mecca is the most important city for all Muslims. My Islamic brothers, I really respect your religion a lot. We crushed them at the first time and we are going to crush them at the second time. Cause in our campaign, Turkey sucks. We just need to make our front line wider. Uh, Bulgaria has turned into the Kaganate and they have joined the Mongolian alliance. Rise of the Great Schizophrenia in the Kaiser Redux. But it's normal for the Kaiser Redux. I'm not surprised, really. To me it looks like a collapse of the Ottoman front. And now we're going to capture the Russian and Ukrainian tourists in the Antalya. Now all Turkish resorts will belong to the Persia or Persia or Iran. And also they got trapped in Batumi. Congratulations Pharatia Commune, you have defeated the imperialists in the India. Goodbye stupid Entente and get the fuck out of our lands. Right Pharatia Commune, right. We also don't like you, but you are not the British imperialists. That's good. Okay, now we got the based encirclement in the central Turkey. Just look how much divisions we have encircled. Probably near 12 or 13. Now we need to reach Europe and reach Constantinople. And we got even one more encirclement in the western Turkey. And we have almost reached Constantinople. Sheesh, we got even encirclement in the northern Turkey, but without any divisions. And what about our losses? Turkey has lost 121k of people, we have lost 17k of people. Our next goal is Alexandria. But to capture Cairo Axis we need much more divisions in our army, probably near 72. And also Cyprus will stay with us, cause we need naval base in the Mediterranean Sea. And the post-war borders of the Turkey looks like this, and Persian borders looks like this. So now we need only to capture Syria. 
Oh, I see you are a gangster. Kaira Axis has started war against the ant ant. That's the good opportunity for us to destroy them. Wow. It wasn't me. I'm really surprised about it. I, I just wanted to say right now that 40 divisions is enough for this war because Entente has joined it. But now, yeah, we need to invade Syria as fast as we can to reunite with the Jerusalem. Persia fights on. S minus Syria, good news. Now let's destroy all forces that has left in the Syria and after that we will move to the Egypt. Uh, which victory do we have? I'm not glad with that. We shall crush them. Now it's gonna be once and forever. Now we have made our one and great front line, which will move to the Sudan. Starting from the Hashemite Arabia and Israel. Now we are just invading their territories and having fun, making war crimes. War crimes was a joke. Or it wasn't a joke. I think you can guess about it in the comments. But I know only one thing, that the British Communards are doing war crimes in the Yugoslavia or Illyria. So hello soy boys from Cairo. Now we are right here in the second largest city of Egypt. Oh, someone wants to defend Alexandria? Let's deal in the other way, let's encircle Alexandria. We did it, we did it, oh yes, so we did it, too, 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 too. Alexandria is encircled. Let's move to the west. Cairo has fallen in the... at the my birthday date, at the 20 August. Genius! They don't want to defend Alexandria, so now it's our city. And yeah, you are right, it's the capitulation of the whole Cairo axis. And I'll help Sudan to get the South Sudan. You're welcome, brother. Thank you for uprising. Oh shit, now we need to have a war against the Ethiopia. Okay. The good thing is that almost all their forces are going to die right here and right now. So we will have enough time to destroy them and get our forces into the Somali. My first forces has arrived into the Somali. To destroy this stupid Ethiopia. Oh shit, we haven't defeated all Ethiopian forces. They got one division and it's located near Eritrea. They want to conquer Eritrea. Oh shit, what will we do with that? Oh, and I didn't show you my new territories. Yeah, now we control almost the whole Arabian Peninsula. And the most important thing that now we control Mecca, the same city for the all Muslim people. And what about our population? Now our population is 42 million people living in the whole Persia. Of course, if we took some more lands from the India like Sindh, Quetta and Peshawar, we would get 50 million people, but I don't think that we need those territories. Let them stay with Bharatiya Komun. That was our last war. And yeah, that's the end of the Jihad. Persia lives in the glory. I think too in this way. Cause look, our western border located in the Sinai. And we control the Suez Canal. Our eastern border locates in the Afghanistan. We have also border with the Mongolia. Our northern border locates in the Azerbaijan. Our southern border locates in the Asir. And you want to say that it's not the Great Persia or won't? If not, I'll fuck you. But not in this video. Probably in the next. Let's make the last scene. So thanks for watching and bye!